Hey guys, my name is Graham and today I'll be explaining what happens when you touch a negatively charged rod to a neutral electroscope and then pull that rod far away. Um, to start out, I'll show you a picture of a neutral electroscope. All right. As you can see, there's just as many uh, positive charges as negative charges. It's because it, it's neutral. Also, um, these leaves down here they just, when it's neutral, they just hang there. They don't really do much. Uh, that's it for the neutral electroscope. Now we'll move on, show what happens when you bring the negatively charged rod towards the electroscope. All right, so now we've brought the rod close towards the electroscope. This causes all the electrons that are in this upper half to fall down towards the bottom and um, fall into these leaves that I was talking about in the neutral electroscope. The, what that does is it causes the two leaves to separate and spread apart and uh, because like charges um, repel each other they just uh, the leaves spread out because of all the negative charge that's down there. Once you touch the negative rod to the electroscope um, then the rod actually transfers its negative charge to the electroscope, uh, giving it more electrons than it originally had, which makes the, the electroscope uh, total, uh, total uh, charge negative. It's now a negatively charged electros electroscope. And then when you pull it away, all the electrons are are there. There's just now more electrons than there is positive charge um, protons. So, yep, that's about it. When when you take a negative rod and put it to an electroscope, um, it just transfers negative energy to the or negative charge to the electroscope and causes the um, leaves to separate. And that's about it. All right. Uh, Till next time, see you guys later.